Hey, welcome back to the channel. So we've been talking a lot about Chromebooks and how for the right person in the right situation, they can be fantastic machines, especially to travel with. They're super lightweight, super long battery life, and for a lot of people, they do exactly what they need them to do. But did you know you can take that same machine that you travel with and use that on your desktop with a keyboard, mouse, and monitor? Well, today I'm gonna to talk about some ways to use a Chromebook as a desktop computer. So there's lots of Chromebooks out there with lots of different configurations as far as the ports. For instance, this one behind me, it's the Dell Inspiron Chromebook 14. It's got two USB-C ports, a USB type A port and a microphone headphone jack. Now some uh, machines, older machines may not have USB-C and newer machines may not have USB type A. So there's a few different ways to hook this up. So I'm gonna briefly go over a bunch of different options and hopefully one will cover the machine that you have. All right, let's start off with some of the newer machines that only have USB type C. There's two main ways that you can get this set up. One is if you have a USB type C monitor, you can just plug a USB type C cable into your Chromebook, plug the other end of the, into the monitor, and then you can set that up as an external display. Now you still have the problem of keyboard and mouse. Uh, so in that case, you can use Bluetooth. Most Chromebooks have, especially new ones, have Bluetooth built in. So if you have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, you just pair those up through the Bluetooth settings. And then when you want to use it as a desktop, you pull it out of your bag, put it on your desktop, plug that cable into the USB-C, make sure that the uh, keyboard and mouse are on and paired up to the machine, and then you're off and running. Now, let's say that you don't have a monitor that has a USB-C port. What do you do now? Well, because of the adoption of USB Type-C by multiple manufacturers, there's a ton of cables, adapters, and docks and all kinds of stuff available for USB-C devices now. Now what I use is a small USB Type-C dock that has two USB Type-A ports on it, a HDMI jack, and then another USB Type-C port that you can plug in to charge it while you have this plugged into your computer so that the Chromebook will charge or at the very least not use any of the charge that it already has. Now, I will have a link down in the description to the adapter that I use and also a link to just some generic ones if you wanna check those out. But basically what I can do is, assuming I have a wired keyboard and mouse, I just keep those plugged in, one into each of the USB Type-A ports. I keep the HDMI plugged into the HDMI port, the other end into my monitor. And then when I put the Chromebook on my desktop, all I need to do is plug in that one USB Type-C cable. It detects the monitor, detects the keyboard and mouse, and within a few seconds, I'm off and running with my desktop setup. Okay, so let's say your Chromebook doesn't have USB-C, it only has USB Type-A, the full-size USB. Well, don't worry because there are adapters out there for those as well. A lot of those adapters add additional USB ports. So you have some expandability with that. Now in all these cases, when you plug in your monitor, it's most likely gonna detect it automatically. And then you can go into the settings and devices display and configure the settings for your monitor. You can change the resolution, you can change the scaling and the scaling works really well. You just drag the slider to basically bigger and smaller. And when as soon as you let go, it updates on the fly and then you can set it back. So you can get the right scaling. So if you're using something like a 4K monitor, you can scale it up so you can see things a lot better. And then you can also set the external monitor to be your pl primary display uh, rather than the display on the Chromebook. All right, so what about all the people out there like me that like to use multiple monitors, not just the Chromebook display and the other monitor, but now you wanna have two separate monitors hooked up to your Chromebook? Well, that is possible as well, and most likely this case is gonna require one of those new ones that has the USB Type-C connections on it. Now, the easiest way to go about this is if you have that USB Type-C monitor, like I do, I have this BenQ monitor that has USB Type-C on it, I can plug one cable on one of my USB Type-C ports into that monitor and get that display. And then I can use that dock that I talked about to hook the second monitor up by HDMI and get a secondary display that way. So now when I go into settings, I have the display on my Chromebook and then the two external monitors and I can change the resolution on those, change the scaling, all that kind of stuff that I mentioned before, but now across three different displays. 
So if you're one of the many people where Chromebooks meet all your needs, this is a fantastic option to use the same machine on the go that you use at home with your desktop setup. If you're doing this or doing it in a different way than what I mentioned, please let me know down in the comments section. I'm curious how you're hooking your machine up to all your peripherals. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll also leave those down in the comments. If you found this useful and informative, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you in the next video.